गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सेवन टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर सेकेंड अ टाइगर इन द हाउस हियर प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हाउ टू चेंज नाउन इन टू एडजेक्टिव एंड नाउ हियर एक्सरसाइज यूज द नाउन फॉर्म ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ब्स एंड एडजेक्टिव टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स करेक्टली हियर आर इन द हेल्प बॉक्स सम वर्ड्स आर देयर स्क्रीमिंग फ्रेंडली इनफॉर्म डिमांडिंग ऑनेस्ट एंड फ्रोथी so they are some are verb adjective verb okay so you have to change it into noun then you have to write in the proper gap there are some gap six sentence are there you know that so when i will uh, here versa salt all base wanted all her gap is there to be met so first you have to choose the correct word then that word should be changed into noun Purusha Salt always wanted all her to be met. What should be? Check here. Screaming, friendly, inform, demanding, honest. So here, what will be? Demanding. Demanding is there. It's adjective. But what? Demand. It's a noun. So here, demand. Like this, you have to do. And next, <coughs> function of nouns. You already know that uh, a noun may be used as a subject or an object in a sentence let us find out how nouns perform different function in a sentence here actually five points written and five point it's uh, given the function how the function is the of noun here direct object indirect object ownership okay so read it and understand it now next page take the correct words in the given in bracket according to the function of underlined nouns in the sentence hunting is banned related to the exercise first first you have to understand then you understand it is a possessive form or object of the preposition direct object or indirect direct understand direct indirect very easy i bought a pen i bought a pen means direct um, focusing on the verb i bought what a pen direct object i bought a pen for my brother so for my brother indirect object okay like this and this and do this and exercise c pick out correct words from the following sentences as directed <coughs> okay here subject possessive form object of the preposition okay it is and next one exercise d gender and noun gender you know that noun and gender and number here so feminine masculine gender is there so here feminine masculine gender written some word tiger sports man gap is there hero count this one and feminine only none and impress so that you have to complete it's very easy if you are facing problem then send the message and now circle e exercise e. circle the nouns in the common gender and under underline the neutral gender okay circle you have to do on common noun neutral gender underline child what is think about child common or neuter doctor it's common noun or neuter fan it's common or neuter so child and doctor both are common noun fan is neuter noun fan neuter means non living things like fan building etc okay like this too and next one is if fill in the singular plural form of the nouns given do it spell well now here are in the help box some words written distinction comfortable delight and frenzied so you have to complete it this way. and now next page word power <coughs> word power here some words phrases are given and its meaning given okay so here something some three points written english is an internal language it keeps borrowing words and phrases from all languages of the world including including hindi and sanskrit it is said that more than 80% of the words in english language have come from the other language of the world like french latin greek german italian and spanish so here are some words words and phrases and its meaning given here given ad hoc ad hoc means for this purpose agenda things to be done bona fide in a good faith chic elegant so 20 words are there you have to read and understand it and next exercise three exercise are there a b and c so you have to write its meaning what you have just studied in the next page in a good faith which mean in a good faith here given 
in a good faith bona fide okay like this you have to complete and explain the following words same what is agenda means what is resume means per capita means per annum and camera okay and then write down 10 foreign words phrases that you have been using for a long time without knowing that english has borrowed them from the other language of the world okay so do it and now <coughs> activity activity for speaking and listening here page number 171 there is a para written okay so read the para then seven questions are there then you we will get its answer what is first question how many tiger reserves are already included under project tiger read this then you understand now converse and connect there is a activity actually read the following conversation and listen to it on the dg disc and enact with your partner sadik and rita there is a conversation between sadik and rita so what is sadik has said sadik well rita how was your trip to jim carbet park rita oh it was an excellent trip sadik did you see any tigers in the forest rita no unfortunately we could not spot any tiger but we saw pug marks of a tiger near a stream sadik amazing it means the tiger could be nearby rita quite possible but we saw many deer elephants and monkeys it was wonderful to watch them in their natural habitat sadik yes it must be rita moreover we went in an open jeep and got a good view of the dense forest all around sadik good the jim carbet park is visited by many tourists every year rita even during this part of the year there were many visitors there sadik okay so what to do here carry on a similar conversation about a wild type snake tiger reserve forest zoo that you have visited okay it means that so same conversation you have to do okay that you have visited any wild type snake tiger reserve or forest or in zoo that you have visited you will be sadik or another maybe okay so do this now speak and express suppose you go for a stroll and happen to see a tiger behind the trees what should you do look at the given picture and discuss with your classmate okay means suppose that you are going for a and sub, sub, and just after you have seen a tiger behind the trees what should you what would you do okay that you have to discuss with your partner classmate okay so discuss is what you will do okay <clears throat> now pronunciation practice there is a pronunciation of some word given here eight words so pronounce it three times cosmetic league victory appetite tournament consultation swap okay zero okay now next punctuation every chapter you are doing punctuation punctuation means full stop comma inverted comma capital letter marks of exclamation etc so do this only in the book you have to do wildlife conversation in india has a long history dating back to the colonial periods okay related to and next one write well you, this one you have to do in summer vacation work imagine you went on a adventure trip to a forest wildlife sanctuary reserved forest with your family or your classmate and teachers write an account describing your experience and the stay including details about the name of the place when you went there also mentor who accompanied you on trip any adventure sport river rafting rock climbing or rappelling etc that you have participated and after that give details of what all you did there divide the content into paragraph try to make it interesting and mention something unusual that you have seen there so now what to do that it means you have gone on any adventure trip any forest wildlife sanctuary or any reserve forest here you have to mention what your experience including date of play when you have gone with whom you have gone family members detail means every detail okay and maybe you have done some adventure sport like river rafting rock climbing etc so that you have to mention and para wise you have to mention okay do this and now dictionary skill 
refer to a dictionary and find out the difference between the given word here robust and robot appeal and repeal absolute sorry absolute and absolute what is the difference of them so that you have with the help of dictionary you can do it project work i will give you later on so value and life skill there are two good thoughts are there for the protection of tigers we must unite so they don't fade out of sight and b on a recent visit of the zoo you notice some visitors traveling the animals there including two tigers in an enclosed area write five steps that can show visitors concern for animals at the zoo okay first is actually good thought second is actually activity to do okay later we will do okay so whatever work i have given to do in book so today do it today and today and tomorrow you have time for doing this day after tomorrow next